Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make songs in uh, Mic Drop. It's a Friday Night Funkin' type Roblox game. And today I'm going to be showing you how to map your own songs. So you're going to press on M or the M up here, press on New Project. Then down here you're going to have your own song ready and press Control V to really lock in your song. Then press Submit. Then you're going to see the loom screen for a second there. And then bam, you have your song that you want to play. So I just picked an Undertale one, just spider dance but remixed also there's this little glitch where it's like this but if you want to fix it you can just easily just bam and put it back up and then bam you got your song uh ready to start my song is about 90 seconds long 100 seconds yeah same thing <laughs> so also so first thing you're probably going to be wondering is how to really place your notes so you want to press one and then these four first ones over here are player one. And then these four over here are player two, the blue notes. So blue notes are player two, red notes are player one. And if you're trying to figure out how to like put them closer together, you can always bring down the grid. So say you have it at zero, you can like spam a bunch of really a bunch of notes super close together right there. If you're trying to create some really stupidly unfair song, but like, come on, who wants to do that? Other than like the creator of Bob and stuff. But that's just them. You can also like max it out to 25, so like bam, that's like the closest I can kind of put them together. If you want to delete them also, just press 2 or delete up here and just start clicking away. Or whatever notes you actually messed up or wanted to put down. Now, say you want to make a slider or something. Okay, let me not, let me change that real quick. Okay, say you want to make like a slider. You're going to press 3 properties, click on this, and then make the slider however long you want. You can also change the arrow type to fire, say like this, the tricky fire notes. From the Madness mod where it does damage, but on here it deducts points. Frozen, where you can't play for a little bit, like it freezes your game or your notes. So you can't click any notes for like a couple of seconds. I don't know how exactly long. But you can only create sliders for the regular notes. So, bam, slider. And then, yeah, you know. Also, uh, for some reason in this game, the lower the scroll speed is, the faster it is. So I usually like to keep mine on a solid 0 0.65. That's just like kind of fast, but not like too, too fast. But, you know, if you want to make it slower, faster, I don't know why it's like that, but I always keep mine at 0 0.65. Now, say you want to test your song, so let's just place a bunch of notes over here, bam, all over the place, ba 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 You would come over here, press, type in player 1 or player 2. I'm just going to do 2 because I put my notes on the right side and press test. That's about it because... I kind of messed everything up. <laughs> well, I just got it because that's kind of how far I was. So, hold on. Let me just fix. Let me get rid of all of these real quick. So, yeah. So, say you're trying to, like, figure out how to save or upload a song. So, say you want to save your song, you press save slots. And if you're just trying to save it to yourself, you would just come right here and press on save, proceed. And then that would be in your save slot, too. And you could just save the song now. But say you wanted to upload the song. You would press on share. I'm literally just going to upload the song just, just for you guys. And you press here. Bam, share ID. Now your song is in the game. And I just kind of use it whenever now. There are these over here, which are the lights in the backgrounds. I don't necessarily know too much on how these work all that well. So I'm just going to let... I'm going to learn more about that. And depending on how this video goes, I'll make a part two to learning how to make your own mapping. But then there's screen events over here. You can press properties in three. And then there's a lot of different ones. Screen shake, the tricky stop signs, the arrow keys, uh, snake shake, frame shake, invert direction, and gasters. I love the tricky signs, and I also like the snake shake, just because those ones are fun. If you're trying to figure out what part you want to have them on, because it's right here, you put on one, they'll only be on one player one side for however long. Like, you can make these last a while so yeah, that's how like you kind of want to make your little songs over here. I don't know if it shows up during the test. Alright, well, I thought they did. So yeah, if you actually want to see these signs, you have to actually play your own song. But, so yeah, that should be about all you guys want to know or learn. We're just going to spam a bunch of notes real quick to see how this looks. And bam, bam, just a bunch of random other things. And then we're going to press on test. <laughs> amazing mapping you know i'm like the best mapper in the world i can create the most amazing songs ever but yeah if there's anything you guys want to know or ask me put it down in the comments 
subscribe, join the Discord, all the other things that all the YouTubers tell you to do. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.